Hello, today we're going to talk about posting your code privately on your server, posting it, posting it privately. We're going to set up basically your own private paste bin on your own server. Just a little bit ago, I was trying to help a friend uh, with some code of his. He wasn't here, we're talking remotely, and uh, first he keeps sending me screenshots of the code, and then he sends me the code in Google Docs. I asked him why he was using Google Docs and not some other, you know, place where you can post actual code rather than documents. And his response was he was worried that AI was going to steal his ideas. The AI stealing everybody's code. I, I really don't care. But still, there's times it's good to do things yourself. And it's good to keep certain things private. So we are going to use a program today, a free and open source program called Private Bin. And, uh... I'm going to show you the very minimals of how it works. But first, we need a web server. Uh, so I'm going to set up a web server here. Oh, I'm also running off a flash drive right now because I wanted to make sure I was on a fresh system and that I was doing this as like a, a new system. I didn't already have dependencies installed. So I'm working off MX Linux off a flash drive. So I have floating windows I'm not really used to. So if I fumble around a little bit, forgive me. But we're going to sudo apt update. When that is done, then you'll type in your password. I, I just did this to install simple screen recorder. But now that that is done, we're going to sudo apt install Apache 2 and PHP. Those are the only two dependencies you need for the basic program. It's going to be something else we install after that. But again, I highly recommend you read the documentation on their GitHub page uh, because it goes into other things on detail. Plus, this is going to encrypt and store things uh, encrypted locally, uh, but you would still need to set up some certificates if you're going to be sharing this uh, across networks and you want it encrypted, obviously. I'm not going to get into that on this, but CertBot. Just look it up. Simple to use. Uh, we're going to get Apache installed here. Now, if we switch over to Firefox here and I go local host, you'll see that oh, the server's already installed. And I am it's running uh, Apache 2. Uh, let's go back to our terminal here. And actually, let's go back to our web browser. Here we go. We are going to Google search or whatever search engine you want. I think Google's going to be the default in this setup here. We are going to search for private paste bin. Just pri private bin is the name of the program. Private paste bin, git, and one of your first ones should be their GitHub page. Private bin, private bin, GitHub. It's got four and a half thousand stars. It's got 622 forks and it's been around for years. Let's go, and it's open source. I think there it's under a GPL license if you look at that. But let's go ahead and click on the latest release. Scroll down and again, look at their documentation. Talking, They're talking about different things you can do to secure this more, but we're just gonna download the source code zip, okay? We've got that downloaded. Uh, Firefox, I believe, put it in my downloads directory by default. Let's go, yeah, to here. And if we go into var www html, this is where our web server's root directory is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sudo unzip from my home directory, my downloads directory, that paste bin file. It is unzipped. Let's go ahead and just rename it because right now it's a private bin uh, dash 1.5 or whatever the version number is. Let's just call it uh, private bin. Okay. So we're moving it to that. Got to do sudo. And that is actually our next step. We are going to change some permissions here because if we were to go to our web browser right now, and again, go to our local host, oops, local host, and this time we do forward slash private bin with the capital letters, of course, being important. You'll see it's here, but we try to do stuff and it's going to give you an error because it's unable to write to the files it needs to. So what do we need to do? We'll go back to our terminal here. And the first thing we need to do is change it so it is owned by the uh, web user, www-data for the user and group private bin. At least is how I do it. Again, read through the documentation. Uh, they have lots of suggestions on making things more private. And then we're also going to want to change this. So we're going to sudo change mod dash r, meaning uh, recursively all the way through g plus rw. This is saying the groups uh, and given the permissions for the groups for this directory and all the files below it. Now, if we go back to here and we say, oh, send. 
Okay, it worked. I thought we might have to start restart Apache, but we didn't. There we go. So it pasted it, and it gave you a URL, which right away you can copy. I can send that to somebody, although I'm running localhost, obviously. You're going to have your domain, especially if you're going to be working with security certificates. But you give someone that URL, and they can view it. Now, you'll see here it says document will expire in six days. Let's go ahead and create a new. And you can see here by default it has a week. Of course, you can change your defaults. You can say expires in five minutes, ten minutes, an hour, a day, a week, a month, a year, or never. You can do say it's a burn. So as soon as they open it, they can read it. But if once they try to refresh or go to that link again, it will no longer exist uh, you can also set a password let's go ahead and again just type something and send and there it is let's go new I am going to change this to source code and I'm just gonna say bin bash and I'll say echo hello world exit you know, just to have something in there. I'll say send, and since I said it was source code, it shows it with line numbers and some color coding, just kind of a generic because it, you know, could use multiple different languages in there. I didn't select what language. Um, now, again, we can uh, copy that URL. You can click here. It gives you a QR code that you can scan. Uh, but I can click on this link, copy it to send it to somebody. And again, it shows it with line numbers. But just like other paste bin or paste uh, services out there, you can just do raw text and you will have a link to the raw text that you can download so you don't have to worry about all that other HTML. Uh, let's go back to here. Let's go new. Uh, and let me write, uh, this is my cool code and send that. Oh, I forgot to do what I wanted to do. Let's try that again. We're going to say, this is my cool code. I can also click here and say, open for discussion, send. And now when someone goes to that URL, they have an option to add comments. And if we click here, I can say that my name is jerk and I can say, you code sucks. And when I hit paste, forgot to turn off my phone here, I get an error. And that's because there's one other dependency we need to install for this to work. Uh, so let's go back to our code here and we're gonna go sudo apt install php gd. And yes, we want to install that. And if we go back to Firefox, let's say paste, didn't work. I think we need to restart Apache for this one. So sudo forward slash etc init d apache uh, and re, is it apache2 restart or however you restart your services. I know there's different ways to do it depending on how your system's set up. and now I can post my comment and it can see. And then, you know, I can reply now. I can say, Bob, me make good code. Anyway, so this is all being stored in that directory. You didn't have to set up any databases or anything. I just don't know how much simpler it can get. You install some dependencies, unzip this file, and change some permissions and you're ready to go. Uh, now, again, you're also, if you're going to actually be doing this and you're worried about privacy, you're going to have to set up some security keys for your web server. That's a whole nother, um, you know, issue there. And again, this is for sharing. Uh, now, will I be using this on my main films by Chris, uh, com website? I thought about, but no, it's, it's not kind of useful for me right now. Like I said, I'm using paste bin, which is not the best. It's just what I've been using forever. And I have scripts on my server where you can search through all my paste bins and I automatically back all those up. The thing about this is this is for privacy. I want to share mine publicly. There's no list here of pastes. You know, these are all designed to expire and be encrypted so no one can see them. When I post code online, I want everyone to see it. Um, so I'm, although I'd like to get away from pastebin and probably use something else, it, it, I'm not going to be going to this, but this is great if you are concerned about privacy and you are sharing things, you want them to be private, unlike my code that I'm sharing with you guys publicly. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, thank you for watching. I'll put uh, links to notes in the description of this video upon paste bin. And uh, if you have any questions, ask below. But really, look over the documentation uh, at their website because they go into details on, on, again, I showed you how to install it and get it running. They give you some uh, pointers on configuring it different ways, making sure that, you know, that it's definitely uh, not accessible to other users on your system if you have most uh, multiple users on your system, that sort of stuff. But everything is encrypted, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Films by Chris.com, that's Chris with the K. If you're one of my patrons on Patreon, thank you so much. If not, think about supporting. Link in the description, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. 
Yep, that's it. There's a link in the description. You can also support me on my website. Just think about liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.